Welcome to your road, the home ground of Maynard United for tonight's National League clash between the home side and Altrincham. This is Maidenhead's first home evening fixture of the season and their only scheduled midweek evening fixture this side of Christmas. I'm Keith Higgins and I'll be your commentator for today's game and I'll be joined later by the Maynard United Club Secretary Neil Maskell to add his uh, punditry opinions on the game. So, quick look at how the sides have fared this season. After a reasonable start to the season, Maidenhead have not won in their last seven games. Last win was on August the 19th, 1-0 at home to Dagenham and Redbridge. They did embark after that on a run of three successive 0-0 draws, but since then they have lost their last four games, including a 3-0 defeat at Gateshead on Saturday. Currently lying 21st place, fourth bottom, just two wins and ten points in their opening 11 games. And I think their main problem has been up front, because they've only scored seven goals. Probably an indication to the management team, led by Alan... Good acceleration by by Malusa. Good acceleration. He's moved into the side of the penalty area. Sitel forced out wide, but he gives the ball to Baines. Good cross in Baines. And Ooh. there's a flying, <laughs> diving across there was uh, Newby on the ball again. Oh, Number 22, Joey Jones. Yeah. There's an overlap yeah. and a good one if he can control the ball, Baines. And he does. And that was very, very good covering there by Maiden. They can see the first corner. Ball's back with number 10, Con Clark. Nice one too. Con Clark trying to get to the byline, puts the ball across and combination of Golding and Ross makes sure that the danger was back with gets the ball out to Mitchell Lawson. Chance from Lawson to attack. Number two, Lewis Banks. Tries to get well to done. the byline. Has he got there? Gets a chance to get the crossing. Has he fouled? Fans thought so. Chance there, good shot there by uh, number 16, Pichy. Pettit. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, Toby, frustrating pre-season for him with injury. Uh, this is only his second start as well, so... so Just watch this, Amaluzo's got a chance to break forward. Beckwith's header wasn't strong enough. Amaluzo in the penalty area, but uh, I think he picked the wrong option there. It was a frustrating one. Chance for Smith to try and turn on the edge of the penalty area. Two defenders with him. Was going to fall to Beckwith. Beckwith. Away. Well there, but a well read by Beckwith. He will concede. No, he Ooh. won't. Amaluzo keeps the ball in play. Beckwith thought he got away with it. Then Amaluzo has a bit challenge. Referee decides that is not a penalty. We could lose one layer, maybe not shirt sleeves. Smith and Zare trying to work a bit of space. Zare to Smith. Smith to get the cross in. Ooh, good ball. Mm. Good ball fizzing across the six-yard box, but... Uh, but even Saturday, we were well in the game, Keith, for mm. 65 minutes, and then a goal goes in and uh, uphill struggle. You think first goal is important to us tonight, and uh, we could do without Amal Azor. He's playing well at the moment. Feeds the ball through, good cross there, and a good header, and a good save there by Ross. Right on cue. In my neck. Okay. Getting burn his way. I think it's going to be three minutes. Three minutes. I can exclusively yep. reveal. Yep, you can see a nice red three as Amaluzo is breaking forward. Nice ball for Sito. Oh, that was not a bad shot. Was that going in? It well, was. That was goal bound, 100%. But anyway, got time to talk about that in a minute because Maidenhead's first corner on the near side to us. Oh, now it wasn't a great clearance by Altringham, and it's going to come back. For Mitchell Lawson to try and get uh, trying to get the shot in, trying to get the cross oh. in, and nearly falls to uh, Golding. That would have been some debut if he managed yeah. to uh, get that in. But he was under a lot of pressure, and uh, Maynard conceded the goal kick, and uh, the attack has now fizzled out. But uh, good turn then by Gostos. Do we have to? Oh, I think we should do, yes. It does show somebody's listening to us, and that's great. Yeah, indeed. Craig Ross with a free kick. Also made their players forward and mm, oh, just, forward. just free, uh, sorry, Pettit not quite controlling it, but uh, Golding still forward. Oh. To, nice little turns. He's no ball across the penalty oh. area. Good cross there and uh, well work. cut out by uh, Joey Jones. But you say it looks very focused. Off he goes. He's going for it. But uh, plenty of people running in the penalty area and he's gone for. <laughs> I don't know if he was going for the uh, direct uh, shot there for the uh, corner, not unknown for uh, people to score direct from a corner. So Silver trying to get on the end of it, Smith tries to get on there. So that's fan was, ball. Well, I think it was more his shoulder, and I, yeah, I think that's, that's not quite the hand, is it? 
Beckwith got a chance to break forward. Is he going to have the long shot? He is, but uh, Larky's run in the first half. It was uh, what a corner. high and wide. A hell of a strike. Um. Well, he's still 40 <laughs> yards out. But mind you. Well, they're falling asleep, and they let him have the shot. And he scores! Well, there you go. They fell asleep. They let him run onto the ball from the free kick. And Conclark needed no second bidding. That's a hell of a strike, isn't it? It really is. Must have been 25, 30 yards out. But as soon as he hit it, and Craig Ross is having a go at the team because they did fall asleep it there. Is. They did. It was a short free kick, I think. Yes. Awkward ball dealt with well by uh, Kane. Wait, Ferdinand. Smith in two minds there and Lars Altingham to break forward but not a good well, pass there and Smith does well to come back. Zare will look for him. Will the ball bounce kindly for him? I think it will do. Smith passing towards the penalty area. Sets it up for uh, number 16, Casey Pettit but uh, as things stand. Good attack here. Conclark just has another penalty. Well good again, turn. He's got the man over. Jones comes Ooh. across him. Zare does well to block. Yeah. May not have had uh, two so far. And, uh, another short corner to try and catch them out. But uh, well read by Reece Smith and a chance for him to break forward. May not got to break quickly here. It's Parsons. Going to make the most of this, surely. Smith tries oh. a shot. Just running a little bit too far in front of him. And go, 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 go! Angus and De Havilland, oh, and I think the Hangus has got the better of him. Angus into the penalty area. Square to Con Clark. Probably an easier chance than the one he scored with. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be a ricochet off someone's uh, shin or something like that at the moment because the goal is just eluding us. Slops it forward. Coming on the far post. Cordell. Looks like he's gone off a Altrigan player, so it's going to be a corner. I think the linesman got in the way slightly, but the ball had gone out of play beforehand. And uh, well, we're going past the six minutes of added time. It's really all bonus time now for Maidenhead if they can get the ball. That's but the end of the bonus to. time. Referee Ed Humphrey throws the final whistle. And once again, it's another defeat for Maidenhead United. Maidenhead United nil, Altrigan one. Classic goal by Con Clark winning the game. Strike from 25 yards, but Maidenhead did fall asleep. It was a short free kick, wasn't it, uh, Neil? And they just...